gnarly steroids. processed meat. Steroids, primal or subprimal? <laughs> steroids, primal or subprimal? Subprimal. Wait, why? I mean, yeah, I got I got good uh, T levels currently. I'm just saying. You, you that, say like, you say they're good because that's the new normal, and that's the relative difference. But how much you want to bet you could double your testosterone naturally by doing these nine ancestral tenants? What like naturally by doing these nine ancestral tenants? Leaked emails, blood test results, and a full steroid cycle breakdown. That's what we're going to be getting into in this video. Duty to empower the masses to become jacked high testosterone, metabolically and cognitively peak primals with a higher quality of life and to inspire change and achieve this and be maximum impact. He does it through as viral of content as possible. I've heard this, but uh, <clears throat> so a, a year ago, maybe two years ago, it was all about like PEDs and steroids, mm -hmm. right? And, and, and then, you know, same question, same answer. I didn't touch the stuff, don't touch the stuff, right? Question, same answer. I didn't touch the stuff, don't touch the stuff, right? And, and My name is Natalie, and if you are new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Today, honestly, the script writes itself here. As the title suggests, we are visiting, actually revisiting, the Liver King. If you are an OG fan, you'll remember my very first video was in fact on the Liver King and his supplements and how he claimed to be a fake natty. Wouldn't you know it? This, that video aged so well because recently the liver king has been exposed as a fake natty. And if you don't know what that means, that means someone who claims they don't take steroids and then wouldn't you know it, they actually are taking steroids. So now you might be saying, okay, who cares? I don't even know who the liver king is. Why is this such a big deal? If you don't know who the liver king is, he's basically just built a massive brand and business around sort of living a way that is like our ancestors eating a lot of raw meat is the biggest thing i think he's known for um lifting being healthy sleeping eight to ten hours a night whatever, blah, 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 whatever i believe that men and women are not created equal that's why a man is called a man and a woman is called a woman i believe that we are complementary opposites i believe that men are purpose built for physical strength to fight, to provide, and to protect. He's just made this huge social media presence by kind of his shock value on like Instagram. And he has a YouTube channel that's pretty successful as well, but he really makes a ton of money off of his supplements that he sells. Grass-fed beef organs, $48. He's really big on liver, heart, and he kind of promotes this fallacy that if you eat liver, then that good liver goes to your good liver and then you'll be like the liver king. I guess that's where he got his name from. Something like that. I digress. The liver king built his brand on being a natural guy and achieving these great results from eating these raw animal products and living the way that his brand is and the way that he makes money by selling supplements and different products for people who love and support him. Unfortunately, that is all a lie. He has literally built a throne of lies. And that's what we're going to talk about today. The fake Natty situation all came to light when Derek, or most notably known as More Place More Dates on YouTube, uh, released a very long video going over some confidential emails that Liver King himself stated, hey, I need this amount of growth, whatever. Um, I pay 10K a month for storage use. And it's private emails between, I believe, him and his physician who monitors his health or whatever. So Derek released this hour long video going over kind of the Liver King's brand, the released emails that Liver King has communicated with his physician, which pretty much has all the evidence in the world that he is in fact on steroids, which as many people predicted, myself included in the fitness industry, that he is obviously taking steroids because no one looks like that who is natural. 
And I don't know why he's so red, but now I'm guessing it's from those steroids. So in this hour long video that Derek released, 100%, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. It really dives deep into uh, Liver King's brand and pretty much how shit he's been posting wise, what he posts on his Instagram, what he promotes on his podcasts. But basically Derek goes into the exact email. It is a lot. Now I wouldn't be making this video if the Liver King had just when he started posting, what, in 2021 of last year, if he'd been like, hey guys, I'm not natty, but I use these supplements and I live my lifestyle this way to help me look like this and feel great, so I want to help others look and feel great. So here's part of my regimen that has gotten me these results. No, 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 no. Liver King has gone on so many podcasts, claim to be natty, says, if you wanna get women, if you wanna get these results, if you want to look good like this, no ab implants, no ab sculpting. No, no, this is natty, baby. No steroid use. And then I think the haters, okay, this got old. So then I don't know if you've heard this, but Liver King got ab implants. <laughs> I've but heard that, yeah. That was a thing. That, that, that. He says, no, 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 go ahead and buy my supplements. They're only $59.99. Um, go ahead. We got like $20.99 extra of shipping and handling. But trust me, you want to get these results so you can be an alpha male. That's pretty much his um, his brand. Now, I don't think necessarily promoting good sleep, you know, diet that consists of primarily organic um, foods. That's not bad at all. That's fine. But the thing is, if you're going to identify yourself as the brand, you don't hire someone to be the face of the brand. You are the brand. And you have to be probably pretty transparent to not get flack like this. I also really don't want to just keep beating like a dead horse into the ground as the saying goes or whatever seems kind of violent to me. But really just the biggest thing that makes me laugh about this whole situation is just um, how Liver King lied uh, just again and again and again just to make profit. And now he's been exposed and he's still profiting off of the exposure. No press is bad press. Uh, he's actually released, I believe it's a seven minute how long is it? He released a six minute and 34 second YouTube video apology. Um, now I'm not going to click it. I've already watched it because I don't want to give him more ad revenue. Yes, he has two ads playing on this six minute video and he has 1.8 million views. No press is bad press. I'm telling you, he's making a shit ton of money. He also titled this liver King confession dot dot dot. I lied. That's how you make money on YouTube, baby. Now, I did watch this with uh, my friends over at Pride Conditioning, Lindsay and Doug. I'll go ahead and link their video that we did together in the description box coming out on Monday, December the 5th. I'll link it down in the description box below so you can watch this video, then go watch that video because that video with Doug and Lindsay really dives deep into his confession and kind of the business practices that he's kind of portrayed and kind of how he's trying to cover up his tracks and move forwards with the same, basically the same branding. Like, I don't think he's going to change anything. He's not going to get off social media. He's not going to get off YouTube. He's just going to keep doing the same thing. And we talk about that more in the confession or apology video of Liver King over on Pride's conditioning channel. I'll link it below. Go watch that after you finish watching this video. I'm just going through, just going through the comments on Derek's video. Uh, one stands out that says, how horrible and ironic would it be if the Liver King had to completely stop taking gear due to too much stress on his own liver? And truly, it is a lot of steroid use. I don't know what normal amounts are. I don't do nutrition coaching for anyone that's on steroids because that should really be between you and your physician. But it's a lot. The Liver King was on a lot of steroids. I think the biggest takeaway from this video is, is that if you are an average consumer and you see someone that looks like this and claiming that they are natty and that you should buy these products and that's how there's quick solution or quick fix to a better life, then it's like 20,000 red flags right there, okay? Just stop in your tracks. This guy is not natural. He never was, really. Um, at the second he started posting, what, August 2021? He's always been on something for whatever reason. Um, I, I want to see if there's an exposed video of him with ab implants, because I'm not convinced he does not have ab implants, or at least ab sculpting. Because if you look at the Liver King, he can sit, he can stand, he can be running a marathon and his abs look exactly the same. Maybe there's some sculpting done, maybe some like liposuction, you know, got, got the six pack nice and ready. But I, I feel like that would be the next video on him if any more press comes out about this, any more exposed press about Liver King.
So then I don't know if you've heard this, but Liver King got ab implants. I don't really think he's the worst guy in the world. You know, there are worse people out there, I guess. But he's certainly not the best. You know, scamming people out of their money for a shit product. Um, I looked at his supplements a little bit in my original YouTube video, literally my first one that I uploaded to this channel. Um, I'll link it down below in case you're ever interested. But I just looked at his supplements and I mean, they're like, I mean, there's processed pills, which kind of goes against his whole eat as raw as possible, eat this meat. And I think he actually like ships meat out. I'm pretty sure I covered that in my last video. It's that he will send you boxes of meat, which concern me. I guess that's part of his business model as well. Anyways, guys, um, if you like this video, check out the one on Doug and Lindsay's channel. We dived a lot deeper talking about his business and kind of his apology video. So if you want to watch the breakdown of his apology video, check it over there. It was a fun time recording that. So check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Again, talking about the liver king. All right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all later. Bye.